there's a lot of stigma about the dance. There's this idea that it's a seduction dance. It's been a problem because I feel the dance has been very sexualized. But I think it has to do a lot with the way in general, in a global scale, we tend to also sexualize women in entertainment businesses. Like, it's very common, this type of practice. Um, and definitely the... The, the relationship between culture and uh, religion and then dancing can get a little messy sometimes. And on the other half, I also have to say that this dance also, in historical practice, it has been related to sex work. So in the... In, Social imaginary, there's this idea that the dancer is still kind of like some type of sex worker. Um, but it's really interesting also this dynamic because, for example, in the Middle East, uh, an example that they use a lot, it's like they will want a dancer for the wedding, you know, they will go crazy for the dancer. Everybody loves the dancer as long as she doesn't marry any member of the family. When an Egyptian woman, that society has other type of expectations from her, when she decides to dance, it's she has to confront her family. Some people can be more religious and they can be like, hey, you know what? I'm not going to even rent you this apartment because I don't want a belly dancer to be living in my property. I, I'll say this, right? Like whenever I see it in movies, there's always the implication that, right, the belly dancer is going to perform and then maybe she's going to do something else afterwards. Yes. There's this idea that it's a seduction dance. That it's a dance to... That's, that's, that's the main idea of everybody. Like, the dancer comes, especially in films, she's coming to seduce, to distract somebody, very femme fatale, because she's trying to obtain something. Okay? Uh, so, yeah, there's this expectation... With, I feel in general with exotic dance that if a woman is doing some type of sensual dance, right? There, there's gonna have, there's gonna be a after performance that we don't get to see, right? Or it's leading to that place. It almost sounds like in the United States, kind of like, like a stripper. Yeah. Yes. It is consumed in certain, certain contexts. When I say to people in America that I'm a belly dancer, yes, it's easier for me. A question that I always get a lot that I know in the moment people ask me this is that they have no idea what type of work I do. When they ask me, do you do bachelorette parties? Right, but then how come belly dancing got viewed like that where I don't look at other types of dancing like that? It seems to be only specifically belly dancing. Yeah, and that you're correct about that. Um, many people will say to you that this is like the story of colonization. That since the beginning, since the 2001 night, there's, the West has this idea of, uh, portraying the Arab world as a place full of sensuality and myth and very, you know, exotic. And there's a movement, uh, an artistic movement called Orientalism at the ending of the 19th century where they started to, uh, paint and even photograph some of these women in the Turkish bath, but sexualizing them. And I think that stereotype of, like like you say, that is such an accurate uh, observation. Like, you don't see ballet dancers the same way that you see a belly dancer at all, right? Um, but I think the West has been very obsessed with portraying uh, this type of dance as a seduction dance. Because it's new, it makes sense. Uh, and, uh, the fact that many of the movements were very focused in the area of the pelvis, I think we immediately went to like super sexualize them. Mm -hmm. 